Hey, Drew Baird from Moon Audio here. Welcome back to Tech Tuesday. It's Thursday, and we're going to go over our question we pondered on Tuesday. Do more drivers in an IEM make a difference? One driver versus multiple drivers? Talk to me, Drew. So I've got the JH Audio 13 Pro V2s here today. The Evos are down the hallway being used for a video, so I brought a different IEM. Uh, this is the JH 13 V2 with eight uh, balanced armature drivers in it. It's got four for the high, two for the mid, two for the low. Like we talked about on Tuesday, here are the KSE 1500s. These are an electrostatic IMs, and they've only got one driver in them. So what's better? Well, you know, more drivers of the same type of drivers are always going to sound better. Let's say we've only got two of these balanced armatures, one used for the highs, one for the mids and lows, let's say. Each one of them is working really hard to do what they're supposed to do in the frequency response range. This one's got eight. So imagine if you've got four drivers on the, tweet, on the tweeter side or the high side, if you will. We don't have tweeters in an IM, but it, it has to work so much less to produce so much more bandwidth, if you will, and ease uh, to, to push out the frequency response. That goes with the mids, that goes with the lows, etc. I've got a bunch of speakers here that maybe makes it a little bit easier to try and explain things. So I've got here the Focal uh, Canta 2 speakers. And this is the middle range. There's a one that's a little bit bigger than this, and then there's the bookshelf. The bookshelf just has this mid-range driver and just this tweeter. So it's trying to handle all of the bass frequency response from this small driver and the mid-range. What happens when you add two bass drivers? Well, we've now cut the frequency response of what's going to this driver, and it's being handled by these two bigger bass drivers. This gets to work so much easier to produce the mid-range frequencies, right? It's not overworking. It's got a little bit of breathing room, if you will, to do what it does best, mid-range only. So it's going to sound, obviously, a lot better uh, in, in the Silver 2 than in the Silver 1 bookshelf, which is just these two drivers, right? You can always add a subwoofer down the line, but we won't get into that to fill in the base frequency response because we're talking about IEMs today. But I'm just trying to use these as image processing. You know, when you go from one base driver to two base drivers, this base driver is working really hard to try and do what two of these are trying to do. We're pushing air. And inside IEMs, at least with like balanced armature, like this JH13, some of these drivers are pushing air. You change the venting and the venting links, you change the enclosure volumes by adding in filler material to change what each one of these drivers can do. If you've only got one driver trying to push low end frequencies in one of these, it's harder than if you have, let's say, four drivers in here. That being said, you can get away with a single driver like the KSC 1500 to do an amazing job at producing incredible highs, speed, detail, but this is really expensive for a single driver. So you had to spend a lot of money on that one driver. Electrostatics are never going to get you the low end thump. This driver isn't going to get you that, but it's going to get you brilliant highs and mid ranges, like I said. But when you want low end, you need something that has multiple drivers that can really push the bottom end in a pair of IEMs. So this costs more money. So, you know, there are IEMs that have, let's just say, eight drivers at maybe the $1,500 range, and there are IEMs that have eight drivers at the $3,000. What's the difference? The quality of the drivers. The, the extra money is going into better technology in each one of these drivers. And some have, you know, we've got lots of drivers in some of these IEMs. They're so small, you can fit a bunch of them in there. So yes and no. More drivers can sound better and make the same price point drivers do a better job when you've got lots of them but you can still get a brilliant set of IEMs with only one driver that will do an amazing job, but there will be some trade-offs or limitations, okay? So it all comes down to ear of the beholder, right? What are you looking for? Do I want more analytical detail and sparkle than something like the KSE, which is one of my all-time favorite IEMs, is going to do it for you? Do you want a ton of bass that maybe an Empire Ears, Legend X, or a JH Audio, Roxanne, or something like that is going to get you a ton of bass from an IEM. So you've got to look at it from a couple of different aspects. But so, the, so there's no perfect answer to this. Yes, they can make a difference, and no, they 
sometimes can't make a difference. A single driver might be able to do some things better. So it just it comes down to the I am. Let us know if you have questions. We can help you. I know it's a pretty confusing topic. Reach out to us, subscribe, email, leave your questions below, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.